last minute training at Buntsfield Oil Depot. These armed forces personnel will deliver fuel from Monday, the latest attempt by the government to ease a shortage of drivers that's still leaving forecourts empty. What we've seen in the last uh, few days is uh, trouble in terms of getting that fuel to the petrol forecourts. I think in most parts of the country it is certainly uh, seeing signs of stabilisation. But I think it's also right as a precaution that the, the government has uh, asked the military to help. As well as drafting in the military, the government has sent out nearly a million letters to try lure HGV drivers back into the industry. In a twist, that includes many German nationals in the UK, whose licence happens to allow them to drive lorries. Software engineer Chris, who's never driven an HGV, doesn't feel ready to help. I think it's almost like a desperation, which is a shame, but my answer would be thank you very much for inviting me, but I, I'm not interested um, at, at this stage. It's got a funny side to it as well, because I've, as I say, I've never driven an HGV before. Across the UK, petrol stations are still struggling, but a north-south divide is emerging. The Petrol Retailers Association says fuel availability is improving in the Midlands, the North and Scotland, but it's getting worse in London and the South East. This petrol station in London had a tank to deliver fuel just 10 minutes ago, and already the queues are starting to form. It is a picture we're seeing at four courts across London and the South East, where they're still really struggling to get deliveries. This week's been bad. Um, I managed to fill up on Sunday, and this is the next time I'm filling up. So I've got through six days, um, but I haven't been able to go to all the jobs that I need to go to. You've lost work, is it? Yeah, I've lost work, yeah. I waited in the BP up the road for like half an hour, and then I got there, and it was only diesel. So then I've got three kids in the car. So then I came and waited in this one for another half an hour. The government's bringing in the army from Monday. They have to bring in. I think that's a very good solution because we need help. There are a lot of people here who need to go to work. There's no fuel. Thousands of temporary visas are being offered to food and poultry drivers in the lead up to Christmas, but they can't start till the end of October. Until then, it'll be down to around 100 military drivers to help keep fuel in people's tanks. Dan Whitehead, Sky News, in London.